Hi, welcome to Harrington CDC ITQ3 Health Videos with me, Ron Taylor. Another great feature of Word is the autocorrect feature. Uh, when I'm in the middle of typing and I want a trademark symbol, I can just do the brackets trademark, or perhaps I want a smiley face or a copyright symbol. They're happening just by picking up what I'm typing and making some auto corrections to it. We can set that up on Tools, Autocorrect Options, and it's the Autocorrect tab. See, there's some inbuilt auto corrections there already. We can ask Microsoft Word to um, correct when we put two capital letters at the beginning, put a capital letter at the beginning of sentences for us. So if that's not working on your computer, it's probably that the tick box is, has been unchecked. So put the tick back in. So you can see the range of these. I needn't read them all out for you. But this is the most useful feature at the bottom where we can see all these features. So if I type in brackets, see brackets, it will replace it with a copyright symbol for me. If I scroll down, we can see we're then into some very commonly misspelt words about put an extra B in, it will sort it out for you. I'll just show you that. A, B, B, O, U, T. And it's switched it for us. That's great. That's Microsoft Word helping us out. But we want to be able to take control of that a little bit. So we can add our own words in. For example, when I'm typing it, I always misspell the word field. I don't misspell it, I mistype it. I always put F-I-L-E-D. Always. Filed. So all I need to do is put that in the replace box and say replace it with the correct spelling. Double check that that is correct. Yes, it is. Click on Add. So now when I am typing and I misspell that word, it will correct it for me. You can have quite lengthy uh, replacement text here. So one of the things that I find it useful to do, for example, is put abbreviations in. And I put HCDC and replace it with Harrington Community Development Centre. Add that in. So now when I'm typing a long paragraph and I want Harrington Community Development Centre in, I just put HCDC in and the computer does the rest. That's Tools, Autocorrect Options, and we're on the Autocorrect tab. Finally, if we decide we've made an error there and we don't want that uh, to be replaced anymore, we can simply delete it from the list. One of those really useful features, well worth setting up a few of your own.